is Mentor Shelly, wanting to make sure that you become a better version of yourself professionally. I want to talk to you guys today about a particular question you will get in an interview and how to answer it. There are times where employers will try to trip you up with this question. So, how much were you looking to be compensated in this particular role? Ha ha, ha ha. It's not a trick question. How you answer it may make or break you um, even getting any further in the interview process. I want to make sure you guys understand that um, how you answer this question will make or break um, how you kind of wiggle through this process. Not wiggle, but be able to confidently master what they're trying to do. They're trying to get you to say, to speak numbers first. Number one, under no circumstances do you talk numbers first. Um, And even if they insist on it, then before you go into the interview, you would have been prepared on how to handle this particular question. Um, You can definitely get prepared by going to, I actually have a audio series that is, very, very, um, you know, you can audio series that can, that can definitely help you to prepare for your interview. So when you go in there and you get question, get asked that question, you'll at least have the right information to be able to answer that question. But here are like three ways. I want to make sure you have three ways of answering that question intelligently. Um, of course, as a career coach, I'm always learning and growing. So I was listening to a particular um, book. Um, how to get a, how to land a job in 30 days or less. And, um, you know, just like how I have 15 plus years of experience, you're always sharpening your sauce, you're always sharpening your tools. So I'm always sharpening my education as far as careers, um, in career ventures, how you want to handle certain situations. So this is why, you know, this particular video I wanted to make to make sure that you handle this particular question. Well, quite way number one, um, my normal go-to would be, um, well, what is it normally say? Okay, well, what type of um, salary were you expecting with this position? I normally revert it right back and say, well, what type of range were you offering for the position based on what you're looking to get done um, and based on the experience you require? I usually flip that question right back to them. Um, Sometime for the about 70% of the time that works. Um, and then, you know, they normally either if I'm speaking with an agency or if I'm in an interview situation in an interview situation that we're talking about here, they'll normally respond. Sometimes they'll come back and say, no, but what, what were you looking to, um, what were you, if they come back, here's, here's another way. This is, this is a way to, you can answer that question. Well, we're getting to know each other in this conversation and I want to make sure that I am the right fit for your company and you are the, and you are the right fit for the, the, the professional um, position that I'm looking for. So I would rather discuss that when we have established that we're both a great fit for each other. That's also another way you can respond to it. Way number three, um, You want to make sure that if they ask that question and they're insisting on giving a number, then if you have been prepared or you did some preparation before walking into those doors, then you want to make sure that you have a specific range to state. Although you really and truly want to make this your last type of response. If they're insisting on you giving them a number, then at least you'll have done your research as far as what the salary range is for that particular position in that particular city, state, and there's a lot of resources available for you to find that information. You can find that information on salary.com. There's a few other places to find that information. But of course, I also have a resource available that you can find at mentorshelly.com forward slash services forward slash interview dash help to help you get prepared. It's an audio series that'll help you get prepared. So before the interview, to have that salary information ready as part of your preparation process so that when you do get asked that question, you at least have the information. You may not need to use it because the first two responses, you don't have to use it. The first two responses is, 
Well, based on what you're looking for at this time and, and, and the type of experience you're looking for to accomplish what you need to accomplish in this particular role, what is the salary range that you're offering? That's response number one. Response number two. Um, based, you know, we are here, you know, communicating and, and, and getting to know each other and to make sure that I'm a right fit for your organization and your organization is a right fit for me. So I would much rather discuss numbers or discuss salary when we have established that we are both right for each other. Does that work for you? Um, nine times out of 10, 90% of the time they'll back off. There's that 10%. That will push. So that's why the third the third response is important to have your information ready when you are, you know, co you know, communicating to or communicating with them in regards to um, what the salary range is for that particular position for the region and things of that nature. There's places you can research that information beforehand, which I do go over in my, you know, of course, in my audio series, which you can find at mentorshelly.com forward slash services forward slash interview dash help. And of course, um, I do also have career um, interview, interview sessions available where we work together one on one, where I can go through with you having an interview plan in place where we go through what you do before the interview during the interview and after the interview you can definitely work we can work together one-on-one -on -one more in depth not just with the audio series but information in the audio series and beyond so you're able to not just be prepared for before the interview but also what to do during the interview and how to conduct yourself after the interview to increase your chances um, of obtaining the career opportunities that you want. If you want to work with him one-on-one, -on -one, you can definitely do that at mentorshelly.com forward slash services forward slash interview sessions. That's all one word, interview sessions. And the links will be below for that. And you can also find them on my Linktree, um, Linktree link, um, site on the profile page of the Instagram here. Um, if you're looking at this on Instagram, if you're looking at this on YouTube, the links will be below for YouTube as well. All right, guys, I want to make sure that you are ready for the next interview. Um, but that particular question is a trip up question. If you're not sure how to answer it, then at least you can use these examples to be able to get through that process smoothly and like a professional. All right, guys, take care. This is Mentor Shelley wanting to make sure that you become a better version of yourself professionally. And answering those those interview questions the right way will definitely give the impression to the employer that you are a better professional. Take care, guys. And of course, you can always reach out to me. You can go to mentorshelly.com forward slash contact. You can leave me a voicemail or an email message, which will be returned within 24 hours. Or you can leave comments below this video, whether you're watching it on Instagram or on YouTube, to get going in your career ventures, especially in the areas of interviews. All right, guys, take care. You have a good one. Bye.